The number of sexual assaults reported to police has skyrocketed in recent years, likely the result of the Me Too movement and increased attention to assaults on college campuses. NBC4's iTeam has found that in L.A. County, most of those accused of rape never face criminal charges. Investigative reporter Eric Leonard has the story now of one woman who still hopes she can tell her story to a jury. This woman says she is too terrified to show her face or share her name, but wants you to hear her story. I just remember feeling someone positioning me and then feeling penetration. I was very painful. She says she survived being drugged and raped during a weekend last February. I just remember my eyes shutting down. I, I felt heavy. The woman says she came to this downtown L.A. apartment to get advice for a job interview from an acquaintance. She says she didn't suspect anything when he led her from the parking lot to his apartment. She accepted a drink and says she knew immediately something was wrong. I remember passing out multiple times. Her family reported her missing, and after a day, LAPD officers said they found her inside the apartment. She was treated at a hospital for being under the influence and sent home. A day later, she reported she'd been raped. I had never been sexually active or anything like that, so it's, it's a part of that. Am I innocent in believing in people? That's taken away. According to this search warrant, the LAPD found what appeared to be blood and semen stains and items that appeared to be illegal drugs inside the apartment. Former Southgate police officer Edgar Gomez was arrested. Detectives had a named suspect, a victim willing to testify, and other evidence. They said they were ready to go to court. The Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office looked at the evidence and decided it wasn't enough and declined to file criminal charges. The prosecutor wrote there was insufficient evidence. Gomez's defense lawyer says her client vehemently denied and continues to deny all allegations against him. The woman says the DA's decision was devastating. I just felt the DA didn't really respect the situation as much as I would have expected. According to data obtained by the NBC4i team, it appears her case is far from unique. In 2018, police presented the L.A. County District Attorney's Office with 815 forcible rape cases. Of those, criminal charges were only filed in 188, or about one quarter of them. It is disappointing. Sexual assault survivor advocate Bettina Robinson with the group Peace Over Violence Violence says it's a frustrating reality. This also gives a message to people perpetuating violence that, hey, the consequence for your actions isn't that heavy. L.A. County District Attorney Jackie Lacey says sexual assaults, especially acquaintance cases, are extremely difficult to prove, even if prosecutors are themselves convinced. We may believe the victim. We may believe it happened. But, but that's, not, that's not where we stop because that's not going to be enough to get a conviction. The woman in this case says she had hoped the justice system would advocate for her. This person used to be an officer. Um, never in my mind would I have ever thought that he was going to do something like that. Gomez had lost his job as a Southgate police officer at least a year before this incident after he pleaded guilty to misdemeanor charges that he'd abused several children at a military-style boot camp in San Luis Obispo County. Right now, even with more sexual assaults being reported to police than ever before, the number of those cases making it into court remains low. Other prosecution agencies like Orange County and San Diego County report similar filing rates. The woman you heard from in our story tonight says she remains hopeful the district attorney will reconsider its decision. I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News.